case. Mm -hmm. Put me on an anonymous donor list. There's got to be someone out there who needs a liver. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. We have Damien here today. He had a hundred mile ultra marathon. Ultra marathon. He just finished, right? When yes. did you finish? Just uh, uh, Sunday morning. Sunday morning. This has been about three days now. And then he ran the whole thing without problem, but the toe had a, a complete uh, bloody uh, blood underneath here. This nails like very loose about to come out. There's a lot of blood underneath this. So this may get infected and cause problems. So I'm going to take this whole nail out. So that's what uh, is happening, okay? But he came in and just told me that uh, he had an interesting event. When, when was that uh, liver transplantation that went on? December 12th, 2018, so about 11 months ago. Oh, 11 months ago. So you actually donated, correct? Yes. You're not, you, 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 you didn't get donated, but you actually... I, yeah, I, so I donated to another person um, mm -hmm. anonymously, and uh, they took about 60% of my liver. Oh, wow. So that's, that's quite an ordeal. Yeah, yeah, it, uh, it took about, you know, I was in the hospital for a week after the surgery, and then it took mm -hmm. about two months recovery after that before I really could go back to work. You know? Wow, so that's quite a quite a thing you did. So t tell us about what, 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 ha what happened during the liver transplant. And well, I mean, you know, they, it, it, the whole process to get ready, you have to be screened and they have to make sure you're healthy enough and your heart's healthy and mm -hmm. your liver's healthy. So that whole process probably took about three months or so. Wow, you're a pretty healthy guy, anyways. You're 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 a marathoner. You you teach nutrition, right? You did all yes. that, so yes. you're a pretty healthy guy. You may be the one of the few guys who can handle donating your okay. your liver, right? Well, luckily I was healthy enough, yeah. And, and uh, so you know, just, you go in for the surgery, and you know, they took they always tell you because I was a a, a donor that. Um, I could always back out, even at the last minute. No, oh, really? I didn't feel good about it. Is uh -huh. it even on the surgery table before they put me under? Uh -huh. I said I didn't want to go through that I could. And I remember that morning, I felt really good the whole day. I never ever doubted, but I didn't even make it to the surgery table. I was out probably an hour before I ever made it. I mean, I was completely asleep, so. Oh, really? What do you mean they give you medicine? So they, they gave me an epidural and then they gave me something to you know, to kind of relax you before they give you the anesthesia. Uh-huh, like they a They gave that before they even wheeled me into the surgery. So wow. I was out. Wow. And the next thing I know, I wake up and I had a sister there and I thought I was still waiting to go into surgery. And said, oh, it's over, you know. Really? <laughs> but but it took, I was probably in for like, I think nine or 10 hours. Oh, really? I'm, I'm just telling the audience that you have a lot of this fluid underneath that still kind of oozing out. I'm, I'm just pushing it so that all the fluid can come out. So this is kind of what the dangerous part is. It's all this fluid inside can make uh, uh, like an infection. So we want to make sure that it's all coming out. So you had a lot of fluid came out, it's still coming out. So that's what we're doing. Oh, ba back to the surgery, sorry. So yeah. you told me that you were going to donate to your friend and then tell me what happened then. Yeah. So. Um you know, at the last minute, literally the, the last appointment before the surgery, um, mm -hmm. you know, we, we both had our separate teams. And so I signed all the paperwork, picked up all my surgery gear for the day. Mm -hmm. and, she, and she came out of her team and she said, oh, I got news for you. The surgery has been canceled. Wow. And I was like, well, okay. You know, when I was kind of speechless, you know. And right, right. Because you've been getting ready for all this. Yeah. I, took, I mean, I've been, so I started the process in October of 2016. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This was March of 2018. Oh wow! So it was a long process. And uh -huh. So what I did immediately after we went our separate ways, I went back upstairs to the hospital and told my uh, the nurse who was kind of in charge of my case, uh -huh. uh, put me on an anonymous donor list. I said, There's wow. got to be someone out there who needs to deliver. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So they said, well, we'll put you on a list, and then we'll, if we find a match, when we find a match, mm -hmm. um, we'll call you. So it took a few months, mm -hmm. probably until I was. Uh, August of that, that year. So it took like seven, eight months Yeah, and to I find a of, donor. I didn't think it was going to happen, honestly. In all honesty, at that point, you know, they were going to say, oh, you know what, you, you can't find a, a good match for you, so mm -hmm. thank you for even offering. Really? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. 
but so tell me about the person who got your liver so uh 29 year old woman from san diego and mm -hmm. uh like i said you know at first um the agreement was that we were never going to meet it was completely anonymous and they really couldn't tell me anything about her mm -hmm. other than you know she had just um you know she had been sick for a long time mm -hmm. and then they said as going through the, the last few interviews they said um you know if you had the chance of meeting her would you want to meet her and i said yeah i'd, I'd like to meet her i think oh, okay. said, well if she wants to meet you then we'll arrange for a meeting so wow. we were supposed to meet in the hospital mm -hmm. like two days after the surgery and the news cameras came down and everything but oh, really? yeah so um, they interviewed me and then she wasn't feeling well so mm -hmm. um, they tried that twice in the week i was in Oh, to try to get you together? Yeah. That it didn't happen? didn't happen. So we, we didn't get to meet until about March of 2019. Oh, is that right? Oh, so well after. Well after. Wow. And they had they had a camera crew there just to film our meeting. And um, mm -hmm. they just said, you know, they, they, they put me in a room and they put a microphone on me and said, just act natural and mm -hmm. uh, we'll bring her in. You know? Oh. So, so how, did, how did you feel when you, when you met her? You know, it was... It was overwhelming. I didn't really know, you know, it was kind of hard to know what to say. And, mm -hmm. and uh, um, but you know, we just, you know, she was crying and we hugged for a long time. And, mm -hmm. and, and we just started talking. We probably talked, gosh, for like 20 minutes or so. Mm -hmm. And uh, wow. And then they said, um, said, well, we're going to, you know, kind of send this out to some of the media outlets and see if anyone picks it up. You mm -hmm. know? And sure enough, um, probably about. Uh, two or three weeks later, mm -hmm. um, they said, yeah, the NBC Today show um, wants to do a story. They, they saw the video and they want to um, interview us. So Wow. So you're famous now. Millions oh, of people yes. watched you? Yeah. Millions of people? people? Watched, so, yeah. Wow. So how do you feel right now after the donation? I feel, I feel great. I mean, I really, mm -hmm. you know, obviously it, 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 it does take a lot out of you physically. Mm -hmm. and, uh, mm -hmm. I'm not back to... You know, I haven't been able to do a lot of like upper body work, mm -hmm. work, things of that nature. But uh, well, you did the ultra marathon, so. seven hundred miles. So wow, my legs are fine. But it's just a toenail now. Just my toenails. Wow, yeah. wow. I, I, yeah. I totally like. I'm impressed with uh, all the things that you've done for this person, and Thank just you. wanted to feature you here as we take this nail out. The nail had a lot of fluid inside, but really? then we took it out because this would not have made it wow. without getting all this stuff out. And uh, and then I I praise you for your courage and your hospitality of helping somebody who's really in need. So there we have it. And uh, Damien's uh, been my patient for many years now. And I was glad to see him, but I didn't know about this liver transplantation. So I wanted to film this uh, nail problem as well as uh, the plate thing that he's done so there we have it thank you so much